Yo, what is up Glovers from all around the world, whether you're on Glovers Lounge or YouTube or Facebook. Um, I'm going to be making a video talking about the Power 10 Regional Ranking System. I'm going to be calling it uh, the P10 RRS for short. I know it's super long, I like to make complicated names for no reason. Um, but this is going to be a regional leaderboard that's going to be in replacement um, to the old gloving.com worldwide leaderboard and in case you didn't know um i think like back in 2019 may have even been earlier um we had a uh leaderboard on gloving.com it was really cool got to see all the top contenders and all the top teams um and i kind of wanted to recreate that now that that's gone unfortunately but um i wanted to take it upon my own hands to create a system like that but um do it a little bit different because um the situation uh of the gloving community right now is, is a little bit different and i'm gonna kind of explain that um as i go along this video so um yes so it's a regional leaderboard ranking system corresponding to each region and um by region i mean different time zones so if you're in the pacific that is one region mountain uh time is one region central east coast hawaii is going to be in its own region but yes we will be including uh out of country regions too and um i already have a community out of country that's on board so i'm super excited for that i will be creating another worldwide ranking system for the big competition that i eventually want to keep running and be replacement to lights on now the reason why i chose not to combine these two is because uh the whole structure and how i do that competition is going to be super different to how i do competitions for the regional so let me tell you how it works okay so competitions that qualify can be either in person or online and yes you heard me right even online competitions count you need to have at least eight entries in your competition and basically any competition that wants to be counted all i need really is for the tournament organizers from each region to come up to me and be like hey puppet i'm running a competition uh i want this competition to count towards a ranking system okay that's all you need to do is you need to tell me and i need the top eight placings and uh preferably i would love to have all the media just for like proof that it happened and um i want the media mainly just so i can broadcast the competitions out to the world and show the world like hey like we're still alive um st stuff is still popping and we have competitions still in, and, and it's still going really well that's really the main reason why i would want the media is so i can just hype it up and really that's it it's gotta do a couple math right and move some names around in the beginning the rankings are gonna look pretty messy but over time this is something that's going to stabilize the more information that we have the more the points kind of balance out and um i know that you know in the beginning there's going to be a bunch of first places a bunch of second places a bunch of third places which is kind of the reason why i chose not to go under top eight because um prior to that it can get just super messy and i just want to keep in mind you know i'm just one guy i'm um, keeping track of all this so i just think that um in order to have a uh least complicated leaderboard system you know just gotta keep it to the top eight placings okay um which brings me to the point system fortunately i've had a lot of uh great gloving minds help me on this you know um i'm not perfect and so it's it's, it's important to have a group of people capture my blind spots um you guys know who you are so um let me explain the point system okay so uh you start acquiring points at top eight Okay, so the moment that you hit top eight, you get two points, okay? Um, after that, you get into like top four, right? That's another four points. And then you get into top two, that's six points. And then the winner will have eight points, okay? So if you want to do a bronze place match, I highly suggest TOs to run a third place match. Uh, the winner of third place gets one point because if they don't do that third place match, then you're gonna have the third and fourth place or well, technically both third and fourth place um just be at the four points right so 
Um, that's how you acquire points. Each round advancement, you get points. Okay. Now the reason why I'm choosing to do this is because I don't want to force a standardized system to every region. You know, I wholeheartedly believe that every region deserves to be unique. They can run their own competitions their own way, right? That breeds diversity within the scene. Like I don't wanna be like forcing a scorecard or a judging system to uh, region out there and be like, hey, I'm forcing you guys to have to use that. No, I don't wanna do that. If you're a TO and you already have an established uh, judging system or scorecard system, go ahead you can use that it all qualifies um and that's the reason why having just top eight placements matters right it's because um it, it get it makes no sense to have like scorecard points and then judging vote points count like it just doesn't make sense so i rather have a point-based system based on placings a reason why I wanted to do this whole system this way is because um, instead of me being like, uh, hey guys, I'm starting Boss 2.0 and then have all the regions do their own Boss 2.0 because it gets very complicated, right? If I'm going to force a system onto every single region, it can get very stressful and very hard. And in some cases, some competitions might not count, right? They need to hit all these benchmarks. No, I don't want it to be like that, okay? I want it to be super chill and super lax and every region can do however they want to do it. And, um, you know, have like, just be harmonious with every region and be like, hey, like you can do stuff your way and it still count towards this bigger thing. And another big reason in why I'm doing this is because um, starting from today, you know, I want to preserve the history that happens within the competitive aspect of gloving, right? Can you imagine all the big competitions that happened in the past, all the bosses that happened all around the world and like where is all that information, right? Like a big chunk of gloving's history is just gone and there's not really a place that solidified all that, right? And this is something that I hope to do is I want to keep track of all these competitions that all the communities are doing and solidify that in a platform and showcase that to the whole world. That is my goal. And the reason why I want to keep it specific to the regions is because um, we're in kind of a special time right now in gloving, right? There may be some states that may not have as much glovers out there right I, I understand that all of the communities out there took a huge dive because of covid and you know there there might be like a state that's like um they want to be part of the system but they only got like six glovers in the state right so at least keeping it like okay we're gonna do all east coast that means all these east coast states are qualified like this at least bring smaller players a chance to rise up in the game right and so um i understand that the situation right now it, 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 not all the the states are fortunate enough to be even able to host competitions and so with this you know i just wanted to spark more competitions spark more engagement within the community because um it's just such an interesting time and i think that gloving needs this so like I said, you know, it's it's my goal to preserve the history starting today. It's kind of funny because yeah, it's actually starting today because the San Diego competition is actually happening tonight and that competition is going to count. Um, so yeah, I want to just preserve that. And who knows, like maybe this will turn into something bigger later on in the future, okay? This is going to be a platform where we get to see people pushing the envelope within the current art form, right? I think it's extremely important to have a platform or like a visual representation to be like, hey, like these are the best of the best in this time period, right? I feel like we really need that today in gloving. And so if you are a TO or maybe you want to be a TO and you want to host a competition for your region or for your state, right? please reach out to me if you want your competition to count. Um, we can talk about it. I know a couple of you have already reached out to me. So if you have any questions, please DM me or post them in the comments below. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys all have a great day and stick around for more Glenn Academy content. Peace.